Okay, so I was just checking the test images on the Berry Boot server. I was really pleased to see the new images from uh, Salvador at PyLab, the Windows 95 and Windows XP style Raspbian. And uh, I've done a previous couple of videos on them and uh, they've had really good coverage. I see lots of websites have been covering this build, but uh, it's really nice that we can now run it from an SSD. So I'm downloading it at the moment. So it's 2.51 gig and I'm gonna put it on my SSD in a minute. Okay, so that's nearly finished. Okay, so that's downloaded in the folder. So let's double click on that to unzip it. And let's drag this image file onto the USB stick. So I'm just booting up Barry Boot. We need to go into the edit menu to stop the uh, auto boot starting and add OS. You need to press and hold on this and there you go, copy OS from USB stick. That's the one we want, Raspbian Buster Windows XP. Hit open. And that will copy the file over onto my SSD. I've got more videos which show a lot more detail on Berry Boot and downloading images and adding images. Uh, and I'll put those in the description. Okay, so that's all done. So let's click on it. Hit set default. And then exit. And let's see how quick all this boots up. So it's literally just restarted. I hit boot. This is all in real time. Super quick. So if I now hit start, you can see that everything runs even faster than it did, but I mean, this, this build feels really fast. As I say, uh, PyLab's done great, great work on this. Uh, and you can see everything boots up super, super quick. I haven't got any ROMs or anything in here at the moment, um, but uh, yeah, super quick boot. So this is a really good addition to Barry Boot. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great operating system. It's got the media edition in there. So if you're gonna use this uh, for things like Netflix and uh, Disney Plus and things like that, it's going to work well. Just do a quick search for Netflix and as you can see it comes up nice and quick. And the web browser feels a lot faster. So if I go you can see that it's come up my videos fast, the, the pages load a lot quicker uh, the Pi is definitely held back by running from an SD card. Uh, so if I do hot UK deals, and I've kind of gone through this operating system anyway to show how it runs, but uh, and and what it can do, and obviously other people have covered uh, various different things it can do. But yeah, super quick. And this is the thing that if you're doing this with Raspbian on a web browser on an SD card, you'll notice that the pages don't load up as quick, but on this they definitely do. Use. So click on that, and you just haven't got that delay that you've normally get got loading up the images. I've overclocked to two gig, um, and I usually do two one four seven, but for some reason Berry Boot wouldn't boot at that. So we'll start up Windows ninety eight and see how quick that starts up. So this is a virtual machine. So this is Windows ninety eight running within this copy of Raspbian. Raspbian uh, has a skin on it to make it look like XP. Uh, and I really love it because it looks amazing. Uh, so you can see that this will actually start up quicker than it normally does. Remember that starting Windows 98 from, uh, from a standing start, so from shutdown Windows 98 in a virtual machine. And here we go. And so if I click within this window, that gives me the mouse pointer within Windows 98. And then click down the bottom here. And say for instance, programs and entertainment, accessories. Here we go, so we've got some games in here. And if you wanna exit out of this, uh, as you can see, uh, Control-Alt-G at the top or you can shut it down in the normal way, but if I do Control Alt G, go up to the top, 
start multimedia internet graphics everything is super quick let's go with file management as well uh, so cool this is the VM folder this is where you put your ISO images if you want to put games into Windows 98 so if you want to run proper Windows games on the Pi it will do it through this and there's also there's box 86 which I haven't gone into much because I don't know a lot about Linux games but uh, if you look on PyLab's channel there's loads of videos where he's got uh, some older Linux games to work natively in their uh, x86 games which is really impressive so there it is Raspbian XP running on an SSD thanks to PyLab and also thanks to Berry Boot and also uh, Berry Server as well the people who run Berry Server Great work. I really love these uh, test images. They've given me a lot of things to play with. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.